<laughs> For the love of everything that is holy and wet, I would rather get assaulted at Diddy's party than talk about Zack Snyder's DCEU Man of Steel, but here we are, so let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Zack Snyder says that he's not surprised with the hate that he's gotten from fans, calling them brainwashed fans because it's not consistent with the true canon that Zack Snyder was brought up on. Now, I don't know what true canon had Pa Kent die by the hands of a twister and it's only sad that helen hunt and bill paxton weren't there to save his dumb ass while his son was 10 feet away telling him not to save him Zack snyder i love you i want to defend you but when you say dumb shit like that you make yourself an easy target and you allow access for these haters some of them to hate on you and it's harder for me to do my job to defend you from these haters when you say dumb shit like this what true canon are you talking about the true canon where pocket dies by having a heart attack because that is true canon i don't know what true canon you're talking about where pocket gets swept up by the tornado that took out the green witch from wizard of oz what are you talking about sir i would like to know Billy 12, 2015. yes okay. um and uh have they been changed in any way or uh based on what's in front of you no okay uh your honor at this time the state now moves to admit here we go again zack snyder defends superman killing zod quote they were like why would you put superman in that position if superman can't handle that position then he's fake lord have mercy First of all, I love Man of Steel and I understand the choice to kill Zod. But when, again, but when you say that it's fake not to have Superman murder someone, when the very essence of Superman is that he is above killing no matter what he sees killing for the birds he sees someone killing as being weak superman is the ultimate rise above it that's the whole point of superman so when you say that if superman cannot kill or put him in that position then he's fake it just gives the haters more ammunition towards you bro all you had to say like listen I respect the true canon. I respect the source material. I understand where hardcore Superman fans are coming from. That being said, this is my interpretation of Superman. This is my worldview, my perspective on how if Superman actually existed in the real world and what would happen if Superman had to deal with real world ramifications. If, if Zack Snyder would have just simply said that all would be good, and of course he would still have his haters, but at least you would understand Zack Snyder's point of view. But when Zack Snyder goes off on a tangent like this, it just, it, nobody wins. <laughs> so Zack Snyder, for the love of God, stop talking and start talking about what you're going to do after Rebel Moon is canceled. So that's going to be it. Hit like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, TikTok, and section. And let me in the comments below, what do you think of all of this news? And for the love of God, I cannot wait for the DCU to happen so we can move on from the Snyderverse. I don't know why we're still talking about this shit. And we can start talking about Superman, James Gunn, Supergirl, and the rest of the DCU. Love you all. Stay safe. Truth out. Uh, the hell? Nice.